Hey, welcome to the locker room. Man, it's necessary that teams have a locker room. This is where basketball teams come before a game and even in the middle of the game, they get a game plan. But I want you guys to know something about the locker room. Nobody leaves the locker room saying, man, we won the game last night because of our locker room talk. Our locker room talk was so amazing that we won the game last night. Nobody leaves the locker room excited about how many people they had in their locker room. Man, we had so many people in that locker room last night. Man, we won the game because we had so many people in the locker room. The thing is about the locker room is that it matters what happens out on the court after the locker room talk. See, the same thing needs to be true about Elevate and is true about Elevate. We get so excited that we start counting it as a win whenever our students come to Elevate. And they do, they need to get excited about what happens at Elevate. But we count it as a win when they leave and they start releasing the love of Jesus at schools, in their homes, during broken relationships, to their depression, to their friends' depression. We count it as a win when students leave fired up. I had a dream recently where I went back in my dream to the school I went to high school at and I remember in, in the dream I was just walking through the halls of my high school and I began just to see these people who dealt with things like teen pregnancy, who dealt with things like drug addiction, who dealt with things like alcohol, who dealt with things like depression. And I remember seeing their faces and then it's like God showed me in the dream the same hallways with the same people but those people on fire for Jesus and they weren't dealing with those struggles anymore. They weren't doing drugs for satisfaction. They weren't feeling hurt. Their whole lives and their broken relationships were resolved. I want you guys to think about this for your school. That God has given you an opportunity to walk in your school and to love other people the way that He has loved you. That the people that you come in contact with that deal with those things like depression, that deal with things like addiction. Man, God has given them an answer, a way out. And Jesus paid the price and He died for that. And He's calling you to be an example for that. I think about what the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says, don't let anybody despise you because you are young. But instead, be an example in the way that you live, in the way that you love, in what you say. Be an example in your faith and be an example in your purity. And God has given you the perfect hallway of opportunity to do that. And once you leave that locker room, and you're in the playing court, are you gonna let it be a win?